Read the book of Jeremiah, chapter four. I'm sorry, read, read Deuteronomy 7 6 again. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Bring it out. Thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You know what's so crazy about our people? We keep pushing and begging this white man for equality. We keep begging him to be equal to them when the Bible says we're above him. That's right. We're better than him. Take black people out of sports and what do they have? Nothing. Take black people out of music, what do they have? Nothing. Take black people out of fashion, what do they have? Nothing. Take black people out of the kitchen, what kind of food they going to eat? Nothing. Take black people out of everything Take and what do they have? They have nothing. Do you know why they have nothing? Drop it. There you go. My brother was in the spirit, right? I'm going to show you why you take us out of the equation, the world has not every. There's a fried chicken store right there. Huh. I want things that make you go, hmm. I wonder why it was important to put a fried chicken spot in the middle of the projects. Is it, is it because white people love fried chicken so much? And believe it or not, the Bible told us we fried foods. That's right. That was our sacrifices. The Levites, they, they were mingling with oil and flour. That's, that doesn't sound like white people to me. I've, until now, not, you know, it's, white people are like starting to get on to last week. We got uh, what's um, uh, the woman named Martha Stewart, and uh, what's the white girl, the white lady like, called Ray. Rosie Perez, what happened? Rachel Ray. Rachel Ray, and like now they want to, oh, this is the best fried chicken recipe <laughs> in the world. <laughs> yeah. But my, my mama, my grandmother, doing that, that's Me. you right, doing that for years, right? Bring it out. So clearly somebody's better, and somebody just trying to play catch up, right? Read. Right. Right. Uh -huh. The book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 13. Bring it out. Ye are the salt of the earth. I like that thing right there, sis. The Bible say we're the salt of the earth. You know what that means? We got flavor, sis. Everything we touch is good. Right. Everything. You take us out of if the, if, and uh, we're going to get that next. Uh, where's that at now? Jeremiah 20, 36? Uh, if the sun, the moon, the stars was gone. Yeah, get that for me real quick. I'm going to show you. Uh, hold, uh, hold that when you get it, but uh, he re finish reading that. Excuse me. Read that. Ye are the salt of the earth, uh -huh. but if the salt have lost his savor, wherewith shall it be salted? Right. If the salt of the earth was not on this planet, what would be the reason for its existence? It would just be uh, Jewish people, white people, uh, some some Chinese people sprinkling. Really it would be very boring. It would be very boring. Everything exists because we're here. But maybe I'm tripping. Watch this. Read the Bible. Let's read the Bible. You read the Bible, right, sis? I do. Watch what the Bible say about the Israelites, the salt of the earth. Right? 31 and was it 35? Read that. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 31 and verse 35. Bring it out. Thus saith the Lord, which giveth the sun for a light by day, and the ordinances of the moon and of the stars for a light by night, which divided the sea. When the waves thereof war, the Lord of hosts is his name. If those ordinances depart from before me. So God said, if the sun stop being the sun, the moon stop being the sun, uh, moon, all the clouds disappear, everything vanishes from existence, what else will happen? Saith the Lord, then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. Then the Israelites, the salt of the earth, would cease to exist because the world was made for them. That's the world right. is here because you are here. That's right. And the world was made to serve you. That's right. And your people. You supposed to have slaves, sis. That's right. Uh -oh. You know that? Bring it out. I just said yesterday I needed some babies. Baby, I need some too. I was having a conversation. I was having a conversation with my brother on the way down here about uh about having a mansion. I was like, I don't want a mansion because I would have to pay people to clean it. But I don't want to pay people to clean it. I want slaves. That's what I want. I got you. I got you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm going to deal with you with some losses. Right? Give me a... Uh Give me your pants real quick, right? Because we lost our, our savor, right, sis? We the salt of the earth. But what made us the salt of the earth? It was God's laws. Remember, we said we royalty, right? Princes and princesses of God, right? right. So that means we have to govern ourselves yes, by something. There's a standard that, that princes and princesses must adhere to, right? So watch this. Ordinances, right, that we must do. So I'm going to give you one, sis. Now, we love Jesus till Jesus talked 
chastised now behind me. Right? Watch this. This is love, though, sis. Only because I love you, sis. I'm going to tell you this. Watch, watch what Jesus said my sister must do if she wants to be the salt of the earth. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Read it The woman. That would be you, sis. Shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So we're going to stop there. We're going to get on the brothers, too, because everything started at the brothers, right? So I'm looking at my sister, right? What is my sister wearing that belongs to men? My shorts. Thou sayest, right? But God, your father, the king of all kings, creator of all things, said my daughter must not cross-dress. You know what comes with cross-dressing? A manly spirit. That's right. That's why you see our sisters bucking up in men's face. Because a spirit comes behind that. That's, That's why you see men soft as hell these days. I'll give you that. Dwayne Wade put on a skirt, right? Mm -hmm. I was talking to my wife about this. Dwayne Wade backed up Nick Cannon, right? Then, I'm talking about retracted that quickly, but his wife, Gabrielle Union, when she say something, she stands by it. That's right. And she don't give a damn who mad at her. That's, he supposed to be like that. Right. He supposed to be the one out in front fighting for the people. Right. Not hiding behind his wife, right. but because he putting on a skirt, he cowering like a woman. She putting on pants, she bucking up like a man. That come with a spirit. My God, your God said, my, my baby girl ain't supposed to do that. He, she not supposed to do that, read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So I can't put on a dress, sis. If I was to be wearing a dress right in front of you right now, what would you would you take me serious? Of course not. Probably not. You would probably call me everything but a child of God. I probably would. Now I'm, I'm gonna ask you a question, sis. Okay. Matter of fact, you got that? Yes, sir. Read. The book of First Timothy, chapter two and verse nine. I'm, I'm gonna get some laws for you too, bro. I'm gonna deal with my sis, right? So you're not supposed to wear pants. So let's say you do wear a dress. Is there a, a, a type of dress that you shouldn't wear? Yeah, you shouldn't wear the provocative one. The ones that show everything. Thou say it's right, this it. is I'll... Because I was dating a Hebrew Israelite from okay. a different tribe, but then it went way wrong. I was wearing the dresses and doing everything right, and then just, yeah, it just went wrong. Understood, sis, so. understood. So you know something. Yeah, All right, free. <laughs> Verse 9. And like manner also. That women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Meaning covered up, right? With shave facedness. Downright shy. Right? Are women shy today? No. Nah. They, they say what they feel. They, they watch love and hip hop and basketball wise. Right? Cardi B and uh, Megan the what? Megan the Stallion. Whatever the hell that is. Right? That's that's what they watch though, right? Right, and right, that's what I'm saying. So it's like Megan the dude. You know what I'm saying? Megan the brother. That's what That's what Italian is right. so <laughs> Right. Right. That's what that is. That's see how confusing that is? Megan the male something. Right? That's like me. I ain't gonna say that, but Don't say that. Right, right. <laughs> and sobriety. Huh? Being sober, not drunk all the time. Not that we can't drink, just not to the point where you're you're lit, you're blasted, because now you can be taken advantage of. And we don't want our sisters taken advantage of by this out. Maybe you don't know it, sis, but there's a such thing as niggas out here. That's what's out here. That's, I know that. Right, there's niggas out here, and niggas do nigga stuff. Like, right. hey, girl, go ahead and drink this real quick, and watch you get pilled, and then, yeah, come on with me, sis, and everything, and bring you to all of his friends. So true. Nigga stuff. So true. That's what niggas do. That's why so we need to move back to the county. Right, so we don't want our sister getting drunk right. to where a nigga We'll take advantage of her. We want a righteous man to deal right by our sister. But that can only happen if she's in her right mind, right? Three. Not with broaded hair or gold or pearls or costly array. Hey, hey, sis, I heard you say it's about where you moved to. Let me tell you, the nigga is a state of mind. You know what I'm saying? Without this Bible, I'm a nigga. And I don't live right here. You understand what I'm saying? So if I, no matter where I am geographically, or is that right? Is that the word? Yep. Geological, geographically? Geographically. If the, it, it, it doesn't matter. The Negro part or the nigga part, that's a state of mind. So if you, if you dealing outside of this Bible, then a nigga will find you no matter where on the earth you are and deal with you accordingly. You understand what I'm saying? Come on, yourself. Yourself. That's the, that's facts. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark.
Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.